Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Under the Lights We are, we're not actually under the lights, not at the start anyway uh, We're off to Hamden for the via play, the Scottish League Cup semi-final Between Rangers and Aberdeen Rangers of course, six unbeaten uh, Since Michael Bean took charge, really good form Should have probably been six wins, but Late equaliser conceded against Celtic Men, uh, it's five wins in the draw, but it's still a good record for Michael Bean Still no new signings in for Rangers, which is a bit unusual, but I think we're on our way Aberdeen not in the greatest of form under Jim Goodwin uh, That defeat to Rangers where Rangers scored two injury time goals with Scott Arfield Seems to have taken the wind right out of them really um, But it's a semi-final, they'll be up for it And Rangers actually haven't beaten Aberdeen uh, in a semi-final since 1993 When they won the treble, Aberdeen were the treble runners up that year um, So yeah, it could be a close game We'll see how it gets on though, uh, pre-match prediction is going to be 3-1 Rangers, but I've done every usual two close. Uh, I'll see you there. Michael Beale, of course, from an assistant manager Stephen Gerrard, whose record in the Cups, despite his league win, was atrocious. Good European record, good league record considering what he took over when he came in, but the Cups record, pretty poor. No Cups in the three seasons he's here. Um, yeah, Michael Beale seemed a bit aggrieved about that, he wants to kind of set that right now he's here as the main boss himself. Will I be able to? Well that's what we're going to find out today. Should get the final, set up the old Farm Cup final. Um, I'm expecting a Rangers win. But Aberdeen of course have caused shots in the past recently. 2018, Lewis Ferguson scored to knock Rangers out in the semi-final stage, Gerald's first year. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm just going to take this little time over, you know, going to the subway and get round to Gladby Central to see if you want to give a like on the video to show me you enjoyed it. Comment any other grounds or teams or anything you want me to see, or you know, just any general tips and improving the videos down below. And to hit the subscribe button and notifications bell. Uh, gonna head over to Hamden now, get a few shots of ground, and then we'll head in. Um, and I'll see you later. Where's it for the pre match warm up? Aberdeen already singing. Rangers over there getting ready for the game as well.
two Lone Rangers. It's like game over for Barisic, they're going to one still. Time Rangers get a win 2 1 after extra time. Uh, not a classic performance from Ranger by any stretch of imagination, but Michael Beale makes it six wins from seven, technically. Um, and Rangers press to the final, they'll play Celtic on the 26th of February. Celtic yesterday went at their best, Rangers today went at their best, but both teams got a job done and um, got their way through it. First goal, Rangers went behind, complete mix up. Remind me of the Rashford goal in the Manchester derby yesterday. Barisic and, McGaw, um, Barisic and McGregor, McGregor doesn't come, Barisic and Gold Davies is screaming at Barisic. Matt Kennedy gets in, ball in 1 0. You just play the whistle, simple as. It's the first thing you're taught, starting school as a child. So, yeah, embarrassing. I thought Barisic was horrendous today. But, yeah, Yelma should be back in when he's fit. Moving forward, there's a new issue there with Barisic's form, so what him down. Rangers do equalise Ryan Jack, gets a goal, love the celebration. You can see what that meant to him. Good finish. Took a bit of deflection off McCrory, I believe. But you'll take it. Um, Rangers obviously puffed and puffed. Aberdeen had a few chances as well. Hit the post. Rangers hit the post and bar. Uh, Anthony, uh, Anthony Gordon? No, Anthony Stewart, sorry. Uh, getting sent off late on. Horrendous tackle on Sakala. Deserve red. Kind of sold the jerseys a bit for Aberdeen. If I was an Aberdeen fan, I would be fuming at him. Especially my club captain. He used to have a camera head. Extra time, Rangers get their goal. Scott Wright came on. Extra time. Great run. Good pass, great finish from Kemal Roof, who unfortunately gets injured later on in extra time. It's just a fragile person, physically. Um, we'll find out hopefully in the press conference Monday or Tuesday how serious that is. Hopefully it was just a precaution taking them off, but I don't see them taking a precaution in the cup semi-final. Um, Aberdeen had a few chances, Al McGregor with a few good saves, although I would have John McGlaughlin back in from now on. I feel McGregor is too, he second guesses himself all his decisions, it makes the defence nervous. And yeah, I would have McGottman in there or, you know, rotate McGottman and McCrory until you can get a new keeper in. But yeah, if Rangers progress to the final, but they'll play Celtic. Uh, wasn't too far off from prediction, said 3-1, ended up 2-1. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a few more videos through the week. Put them in a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.